Ever since oil sky rocketed way back in the early 70s we have been in the chase for an alternate energy fuel that could be produced freely or at least cheaper. There is a challenge going on amongst the new generation of inventors to perfect the generation of free energy from our surroundings. How close are we to this close are we to this goal? To help you understand what we meant with free energy systems, let me tell you all that I know about it. Whenever we talk about free energy systems we are going to assume that the resulting output energy that these devices produce are greater than the input energy. This is also known as overunity. Although this condition violates the accepted theory that we cannot produce more energy than what we had put in, a few inventors had claimed that they had successfully attained overunity with their machines. There were quite a few machines and techniques that were developed in gathering free energy and which came from several sources. These devices, however, are not commercially available as of this moment. These devices transform other forms of energy into electricity to power up your homes. The three proven ways on how to harness free energy are the use of radio and TV waves, use of static electricity, and use of radiant energy. These three ways have been verified to be very efficient, very easy to operate, and cheaper to implement. Now, the question is who are these great investors? As a matter of fact, aside from Nikola Tesla, there are other inventors who made their own contributions for its development. There is Thomas Henry Moray's radiant energy device, Edwin Gray's 50 horsepower EMA motor, and Paul Bauman's Testatica machine which runs on a two parallel magnetic discs. There is Dr. Robert Adams from New Zealand who developed and designed heaters, generators, and electric motors that are powered by permanent magnets. Another inventor is Tom Bearden who developed MEG or a motionless electromagnetic generator. Let us not forget John Bedini's electromagnetic generators. Even in Japan, Dr. Nakamat who was the inventor of floppy disks uses Nikola Tesla's free energy system to generate free electricity in his house. Yes, we had gone a long way, however, I think there are still a lot of things to consider before it can fully replace non-renewable energy resources. The very first aspect to consider is its safety. We are dealing with electricity here and we all know that there is always a big risk in handling this technology. Second aspect to consider is its availability to everyone. I also believe that there is no such thing as free electricity. There is always money involved in generating electricity even if it is coming from a free energy source. What we need is cheaper electricity, cleaner and an efficient system that is available for everybody. How much time do we need to reach this goal? I do not know, but what I do know is, we need to do our act together now before it gets too late. And finally, we have a gift for you that is, tricks to reduce your electricity bill by at least 75%. And the way to complete energy independence, get rid of the monopoly of big energy, you will never have to pay for electricity. electricity. Method, amplify electricity to make output power greater than input power. See link in description. Thanks for watching.